Well, here we are again on the door. I uh, trimmed this down, put a little taper in it. I need to do a little bit more here. But I worked and worked on this uh, door hinge, or not hinge, but latch. And I've got it where it works good. So you can find a handle here. So this will work good. This has got uh, pretty good teeth and stuff on it. And I've put the panel up here and made a hole in it. Let's see what it looks well, like. Well, there it is with the door handle on it. I didn't like it this far back. But uh, because of that big triangle thing in there, if I put it further forward, yeah, I would interfere with it. So I've got it locked now. And uh, it unlocks. And I've got enough room to put my uh, little collar and everything on there. So it's kind of a weird looking place for a door handle right in the middle but it'll be all right and I got my electric window it'll thing be going in this area roughly I have to cut a hole in it <coughs> to mount it and there's three screws and then I'll run the wires through it and I suppose here by this hinge would be good enough place for it uh, I don't really like having them to go that uh, that far, but I'll figure out something. Anyway, that's it for the panel. I'll mount it good here on top. I've got it good and straight. I've got enough room for the the window felts. I probably should have trimmed this window a little more. It looks like it's uh, going to be pretty tight in there. <coughs> but I put a window felt on the outside and one here on the inside. Now I just need to finish cleaning up my Bondo around the outside. I need to cut that uh, little molding off. I'll cut it square with the uh, square with that uh, aluminum piece, and I'll I'll just use a piece of quarter inch round, and I'll just put a a real nice wood cap on it that'll hold it real solid so I don't know whether I do the same here on the door I think it's got to be real close to the edge I'll have to do a little bracing of some of this stuff in here but at least that's a, the main mechanical part was getting that door handle in there like I say, I'm not real pleased with where it is, but uh, it's good enough. There's a seat, you know, and it's uh, right about the right about your knees, so it's going to be about right here. It'll be good enough. Well, there's the door panel. It's all screwed in. I doubled up the pieces that I had and uh, glued them all together. This is just self-tapping screws right into the into the metal. This is wood here, so I'll have to use different screws. But it's in. It's good and solid. It's not really flexing. 
I think this is going to be passable. Now I got to take it off again and I got a little wood to put right up in this corner and uh, a little right there from in the bottom. I probably don't even need that but I want to put another piece in it. And then I mount my uh, switches in there I think I'll put them right here in the top and put the rubber inside a hose and then the hose will just go into that that dash gap right there and I think we'll be good for this <coughs> so pressing well good morning again YouTube I'm still chewing on this. I put a, a bracket in here to hold the motor. I uh, put these two pieces of wood in. Turned out that I had a, too long of a screw in here. It hit the metal underneath and broke this piece of wood loose. So I'll have to use a short screw on that. And I got the the uh, that bottom piece where it's all going to be flush. I started working on this electrical business, and what's going to happen is this wire is going to go through through the door. So I decided I'd put it in a piece of hose, and I got a whole board in here, and then I cut a little piece out of the lights probably messing me up cut a little piece out of the door jam there so now when this uh, door closes I'll put a little wire to hold it but you can see there the I've got me a something that don't look too bad, a little piece of hose and when the door is closed can't really see it there but uh, that'll be flush and while I was in here cutting this thing out I got to looking at the rest of this I didn't uh, really get this bondoed up good um, so I took my little little uh, rotary tool which I used to make this hole smooth because this this hose is gonna move in and out of this thing um, I've uncovered this where I need to to bondo it up a little and I need to make this bottom piece here match the top one so I got a little bit of bondo work to do right here uh, the rest of it is pretty good I need to get some primer and spray in there and uh, this will give me a place for my wires to go through this is pretty pretty thick piece of hose but I'm pretty sure I can squish this down enough to get the, the wires through it they got a flat blade that goes on it but I'll be able to use this hose uh, it's an old piece of windshield washer or something if it's not I'll get a get something that's a little better but I can uh, glue it in right there my wires are gonna come up out of here it's really only three wires that's got to go through it so I shouldn't have any trouble with that and I'll mount the switch right here in this area 
I've got the holes bored for it. So, <clears throat> this will be a pretty good deal here for the <clears throat> the wire transfer. And I'll just uh, press on with getting this bonded up, cleaned up, and get a little primer on it so I can paint it. Press on, let's see what happens. Well, this is done. I welded me a little piece of brake line on there. The hose goes through, it goes through the hole here. And uh, this, uh, this thing here will mount to the <coughs> to the dash. I've got that where it'll <coughs> go through. I had to take that connector apart to get it through the the thing. It'll hang down behind the dash. So anyway, my little uh, connectors look like they're work good here. Now I'm going to try to wire some of this stuff up and see if I can get it working. Well, right. I got the switches kind of in and plugged together. I've got them hooked up there on the floor and just tied up. But uh, here's the uh, passenger side. Goes up and down good. And... Uh, I've got the the uh, other switch over here. Which one of these is which? And there's a down on the driver's side and then up on the driver's side. So my switch mess is all hooked up, right? Now I have to run these wires across over there and uh, find my, my right connectors. I just stuck them together here. I taped them so they didn't ground out. But uh, it's all good. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got the the wiring figured out and I've got the door mount figured out so now I'm gonna give me a couple screws and put this uh, switch in the door panel <coughs> excuse me put the switch in the door panel and uh, put some glue around that hose and close the door well, I don't need to put the door panel on, but let's glue that hose up, close the door, and then tomorrow that'll be glued in real soft. I started working on this door. Uh, I'm going to put this piece of wood. What I did, I just notched it good with a grinder, and uh, it fits in here. I put quite a bit of Bondo on it. And I'm just uh, forcing it into place here. And that should hold it good and tight. Now just put a couple clamps on it and I'll let that bundle harden and that'll glue that in real good. Well, I did a, quite a bit more on this. I put this board in here, that's good and solid. I got this trimmed up and put exactly in the middle welded here on the bottom and I got a good eighth inch piece of steel in here for a brace so the track is good it's an inch and a quarter from the outside here to the center of the, the track so the windows up and down go straight uh, I'm looking at this I need to remake this piece here. I need to bend it in. Uh, 
That means I have to remake both of those. I hate to do that because it works so good. I may not. Uh, I may just make a a bigger hole right there. I really don't want to try to remake that. The, actually the only hole that was going through and the other one was this big bolt but I can make a a little bigger hole here. This one can be cut off. You know it just got a a nut on it. Nothing will stick through. So I'll see what's happening with that. I'm not going to redo it for now. Next thing I got to finish mounting this uh, this motor up in here. So, but it'll be fine. You can see it's missing almost everything there. And uh, I need another piece of wood here. But I think my uh, door panel is good enough to go on right now so I've just got the rough piece I glued this together real good this time I noticed on the other one I didn't have it so good on the edges this one's real good and I screwed up left a gap in it so I just filled that with Bondo it'll be fine and I've got a, a pipe here that uh, I put up here to check so you can see everything's clear in there real good so this door is basically the motor's good where it's supposed to be I'll have to trim the window up a little stick it there and make sure that uh, it's the right size and goes up and down good and then I can uh, go ahead and work on this door panel slow but sure it's coming along easier though this time because I know what I'm doing alright I got this uh, all cut to shape and glued in I use that uh, windshield sealer here I've got just a little bit of play at eighth of an inch or so in the window and uh, I rolled this up and down and got it all straight I've got this one glued in right here against the door frame this one's glued in here at the top and I put a like an eighth inch uh, metal piece in there and glued that in at the bottom you can see about how much metal I put in it <coughs> so I'm pretty sure this is all good it's clamped it's vertical and straight the window will flex a little bit so I don't have any worries about that I polished this all up with sandpaper. I should have done it on the other one. I did a little, but not as good as this one. And uh, I had a little trouble getting the paper off the other windshield. So this one I just tore around a couple inches so I can get to it. Uh, anyway, this is in goes up and down I got my uh, control set up here this works good now I just need to let this stuff set and uh, let this uh, silicone well I don't know if it's silicone or some kind of a liquid rubber primerless rubber for seating windshields and if I have to take this out I can reach in there with a razor knife probably and cut that stuff 
but I don't see any reason why it should come out unless somebody want to replace the glass. So this is all good. I need to cut me another piece of wood there for the bottom. I can't really put a door panel on at this point until I get my clamps off. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this mess. Yet. I obviously can cut this stuff off. If I leave it alone, I'll have to have a pretty good size hole in here for, you know, probably this big. Anyway, there's our window in and on the track, glued in. Got another brace to put in it. And uh, we should be good to go there. Well, here's the results of that. I glued this stuff into here, the channels. Window worked good, went up and down. I just cut me a, a three quarter inch square bar here. It's just like a sixteenth or eighth of an inch lower than the door frame. So that's good. I've uh, got me another 45 degree brace. I haven't welded in here yet. Uh, I've still got a little movement in this. I don't really want to fix it yet until I get it to go up and down and see how that. Uh, everything's going to work but uh, windows all in and goes up and down good it's uh, glued in and uh, I was I had to I used that whole tube up uh, I cut it open because it just wouldn't squeeze out anymore and I was unable to get the enough out of the tube to to glue all of this stuff in so I've got one tube left uh, it's qu quite good material so I'll use that to finish up the inside window but this uh, this uh, thing works good now we'll Close is much better than uh, the other side. Goes up and down good. I spread those those things open. So yeah, we're we're in good shape here. I'm pleased with the way that all worked out. I'll leave this up for now. I don't think it really makes any difference because the, the glue is pretty much dry. It'll be dry completely tomorrow. I think it took four or six hours before you're supposed to be able to move it or um, put it on glass before you can drive the car or whatever. But uh, it looks like it's plenty strong course to get the window out you have to cut the glue on this but I'm sure that uh, you know with a long razor knife sort of thing and a little bit of heat you can get them out anyway moving along on this so like and subscribe guys tell a friend trying to move along bring you some content and build my subscribers so thanks for watching and sure do appreciate you bye bye
Well, I got a little work to do here. Uh, this window and everything's going up and down good. I need to put this brace on it here. Weld this in. I have to mount this motor to where it's going to clear the, the door panel. And I'm going to have to cut some of this stuff off here to uh, make sure that the panel will fit. Um, I need to grind a little bondo off here. So basically I've got a little trimming to do and bracing to do so I can get this uh, window finally mounted. So I'm going to try to set this up on a tripod get you a little action video. Well the first thing I'm going to do here is weld this brace in. I put a big piece of cardboard up here so I don't get any sparks into my uh, plexiglass. I'm gonna, I've got this little piece cut here. First thing I'm going to do is just weld it into the So let's get this set up. It's kind of a hard part. Tacked good. Try to get this in here. I don't want to get too much heat into this part. That's where my cable's going. So I'm just doing this really gently. That's pretty good. Now I'll put a better bead on this. That part's good and solid. Um, also, my door handle will be getting welded onto this. I may have to brace it a little more later. Next thing I'm going to do is figure out where this motor goes here. I need to weld me a little bracket here to bolt it. And uh, then I'm going to have to cut the ends of this these bolts off so it's not sticking into my uh, sticking out here into my door so I'll get me a little piece fabricated bracket I'm gonna grind this a little room this it needs to all of this needs to go inside of here so I'll probably take some uh, glue or something and I'm going to mount this just on the inside flush so it'll probably be okay like it is but uh, if this was a little more solid, I have a better chance of getting something on here flush. Well, I've got an old piece of bracket here that was cut off to something else. I'm going to put 
put it right here. We have to bend it a little to get that motor in here. I'll just try to try to weld this in here. cut off whatever sticking out all right it made me a little bracket that uh, goes on the door latch it's uh, here I cut a slot out welded piece in it so it's a square I bend it over so it'll go inside the door I've got a little bolt here it's going to be the pin and I'm just going to weld this onto the bracket right now. It doesn't have to be welded super good, but I'd like to get it as strong as I can. Now welding my vice grips to the metal. That looks pretty good there. Shit. Welded it to the metal. Break loose here. side there. That should be good to go. I'm not using the helmet so it's kind of blind welding. There we go that's welded all the way around. Now just grind this all off. I'll go into my door and I need to cut the bolt off a little bit too. Alright, here's my little bracket. Put a half inch bolt on here. And it looks like my, my stop is still there. It's uh, not really the best in the world. I think I'm going to cut this off. Put something different on it. Got a little, little movement in the, in the bracket itself because my square hole wasn't perfectly square. But this should, uh, this should be enough to unlock this thing. Let's see if I can get something on here. To, <coughs> to hold it. It should go out here to this outside. Uh, take what I'll just put this on here. Tweak in there. Probably I'll try to get short this up. There we go. 
good here. Yeah, I'm hitting the inside with the vice grip. Gotta just make an arm there for that. <coughs> and that should work good. I just stuck the old bracket in here that I had made. This is the one that was on it before. I'll have to change it. But that goes into that bottom hole and it works perfectly fine so I'll just have to do something a little different here I think I could probably just straighten this out it's got to have a little bit of curve to it because I've got to get around this this bolt here This would be fine as it is, except that I'm way out into my door. I need to keep this straight across here. I need a little bit of a curved bracket actually. But this will work just fine. I just have to, to make a piece for it. I may, uh, I may just try to straighten this bracket out I'll have to re-drill a hole anyway I'll straighten it out and see if I get this to work all right I did some modifying to this I straightened it out cut it off and uh, I cut a big hole in here for this uh, for the door pin to go see if it's working good here I got to take a little off this bolt some off of this one but uh, working good and it's not rattling there's nothing loose I got to cut this one off because the window won't go down but uh, this uh, latch now is all inside the door I gotta to have to I'm gonna change this stop a little bit here I need to get it to where it's level which is about right there somewhere so I gotta lower it about an eighth of an inch I'm just gonna cut this plate off and grind it down and uh, probably just weld another small plate right here <coughs> for a stop but I'm going to take the plate this way so it's all inside the door and uh, I don't need anything sticking out this way so I'll just put a plate along the front to back of the car I'll cut that out of there and we'll see what that looks like. Now I'm going to weld a little stop right in here. I've got the, uh, the door handle for it. It's in a, in a horizontal position where I want it. I'm going to try to reach in here with a With a welder, I don't know if I'm going to be blocking you or what, but I'm going to just weld this little tab in here. Ah. Well, I built, was able to tack this little piece of metal in here. I had a bad ground going on, but. Uh, That's good enough. Uh, it's not the prettiest, but uh, I've got to clean up this whole area right here. So for now, it looks like I've got everything all, all put on here. It's all cut and uh, parallel. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this um, window channel here with a little bondo. I'll grind it all off first. I did it down here on the bottom and uh, tried to get a I can feel I got like 30 second of an inch here so this all needs to be come out just a little bit so it'll be flush with this <coughs> and I might as well make this straight out of Bondo and then I can drill me some holes in it I'll do the same thing up here on top this steel plate they've got welded in here is a little bigger than the the door so I'll just uh, clean this all up here and I'll just coat this hole outside of the door with Bondo that way I can get it all strat straight I really don't need to do this top part for now but I do need to clean up the bottom because my next next uh, deal here is I got to put this uh, bottom door panel on so I think I'll I'll uh, cut that to the right shape and we'll just end this video here and get it uploaded and I think I'll make the next video of the top of this thing how am I gonna put the the doors on I got me a good piece of plywood here see it over there to make the floor so once I get the door panels on then I can cut uh, the floor where it's going to go because uh, the doors actually touch that floor so I need to get that all trimmed up anyway guys hope you like this video Got some use out of it. It was fun to watch. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Ask me if you'd like to see something else. Let me know. Like and subscribe. Sure do appreciate you.